today's video is all about organizing the car, the mom mobile, the family vehicle, whatever you want to call it, and being really prepared for anything. So I believe that preparedness is the name of the game for mommyhood, or it has been for me at least. And if you can think of it, it's going to happen at some point. Um, our oldest is eight, so trust me on that. If you're new here, I'm Jamie. I would love to have you as part of our Bloom family here on YouTube, so make sure you stick around. Subscribe to the channel for more videos that are lifestyle, all kinds of content. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and stick around. If you like this video and you like organizing, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And also, if you are watching through this video and you have something in your car that has been super useful that I have not thought of and I didn't mention in the video, make sure you leave it in the comments below because I always love to hear from y'all and I always am looking for new ideas to make my life easier, trust me. So, as we go through this video, make sure you keep in mind the ages of my kids. So. My oldest is eight, Clark. We have Penelope in the middle. She's gonna be five this summer, and then Daisy is almost two. So from two to eight, that's kind of what this um, this is gonna be geared for. Now here in the front, I'm gonna share with you some of our essentials, just stuff that's always in the car. But as we get to the back of the car, it's gonna be a little more kid specific and more summertime specific. So make sure you stick around for those tips as well. I'm also gonna share with you how we keep our kids busy during um, whatever we're at a restaurant and we're having to wait in really in any situation, restaurant, wait in line, whatever. We, always, we have a little bag that we use and I wanna share all that with y'all too. That being said, we're gonna get started here in the front. Maybe it'll give you some inspiration for some things you wanna to add to your own car, maybe some ways that you haven't thought of for organizing and then also some tips along the way. So let's get started. All the kids are gonna be piling in to go get some Mexican food here in a little while. So I'm gonna to try to make this quick also because it's hot out here and I am already starting to sweat. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you a little bit. I'm in the driver's seat. I'm gonna show you a little bit how the center console and all the things up here are organized and then we'll jump to the back. All right, so before we get started, just so you know, I do I drive a Ford Expedition EL. So I, um, you're gonna probably recognize that interior if you have a car like that. but. I absolutely love it. I can, there's nothing bad I can say about this car. I am really, really, really highly recommend this car as a mom mobile if anybody's looking. All right, so we'll get started here. This is the view from the driver's seat. And um, the first thing you can kind of notice is our double phone charger. I absolutely could not live without this. There's so many times my husband wants to charge his phone while I'm charging mine, so it works out perfect. We have a little cubby with our spare key. Um, this guy right here is really neat. Let me share this. This is what we use as an air freshener and it's just an Amazon find so I can link it below but I'm not sure which end opens it is for it's like a little essential oil dispenser type thing so there's this I guess it's an absorbent little piece of stone it's kind of like it's kind of hard so it's like a wick I guess that absorbs your oil whatever kind of oil you want to put in there it works with any kind of essential oil and it stays for a long time. So we just clip it on, my husband and I both have one, we clip it on to our um, our air conditioner vent and it works really, really well for that. So I'll definitely link that below. We bought it not that long ago, so they should um, still be available. All right, and it just sits like that. It kind of blends in, which I really like. Okay, so let's, um, this is actually really clean. I just want to brag for just a minute because <laughs> there's usually ink pens and all kinds of stuff here, but I did clean it this morning. So I just have my glasses down there. Um, and let's open up the center console. Let's see. Okay, so in here, I like how Ford has given me this little bit of organization because it helps me, but I have quarters, um, dimes, and nickels. Those are just kind of the main things for tolls and things like that. I have an extra tube of mascara down here. Also ink pens definitely always need those. An extra charger, which comes in handy for the kids' devices if they need to charge them or if we have somebody riding with us. We have a couple of $1 bills. Let's see what else. Some Listerine breath stuff. Oh, extra batteries down there. You'll see those are for the headphones for the kids' DVD player in the back. Okay, this has been such a lifesaver. So somebody gave me this tip a couple of years ago to actually keep one of these in your car. And it's really just for this. But it's amazing what this, this thing can do. So you know how your car gets, like the very next day after you do this, it gets dusty again? Well, every time, about once a week, whenever I go to the car wash, I try to do this while I'm in the car wash because you, you know, you have that extra minute or two minutes or so, and it makes such a difference. So I always keep this uh, handy in the car and I just keep it right here in the center console. It's been so, so useful. There is, oh, some little body, this is just body splash. Whenever I was working out, at the gym, when the gym was open, I used to use this just in case I had to run errands after I worked out so that I didn't smell. 
I know it's kind of a personal thing, but okay. Extra DVDs. We don't go crazy storing DVDs in here. We just pick out a few, especially before a trip. And I think there's a, oh, there's a bag that I use for business receipts down there and some extra change and things like that. I think there's also a flashlight down there. That's about it for the center console. So everything kind of goes right back in nice and neat. I think that is the key to keeping any space organized, but especially your car is putting stuff back after you're finished with it because it's so easy to carry it in the house or to have the kids, you know, pick it up on their way to the back, the back seat or whatever, and then it gets lost forever. So being consistent is definitely key. All right, so moving on, this is the last thing I think up here. This is my purse hook, which I sound, it's, I sound like a professional saying that, like as if I've always had a purse hook, but this is brand new. My mom just got, got us this for Christmas and I thought it was kind of crazy when I opened it, but it has been such a lifesaver. It keeps my purse up off the seat and it also keeps it, you know, from falling into the abyss right here and lip gloss rolling everywhere and change flying and all that. It has been so awesome. So whenever nobody's riding with me, which is most of the time, it's just me and the kids, I can just hang it right there. But then like tonight when we go eat and we have all the kids and my husband's driving, all I have to do is pull it, pull my purse down. I can put my, put my purse on my seat or on the ground. And then I just flip this around like that. And it's far enough where the baby doesn't get it and it doesn't poke me in the back. So love that. I'll find one of those and I'll link one in the description. I know Amazon has them. So love that. All right, let's head to the back. Okay, so climbing into the back seat, of course we have these, I couldn't live without, these seat protectors here. I'm trying not to get a glare. There we go. The seat protector, it just attaches here at the bottom, and then it also attaches here at the headrest, and it just keeps um, feet off of my leather so that, you know, you just minimize, <laughs> minimize the damage. And another thing I wanted to mention are these floor mats. So ours have seen better days, of course. We've had them for a couple of years, but these are the absolute best. I recommend them so, so much. I'll put, link, put a link in the description below. You can order them for your custom, um, order them custom made for your, your make and model of car and they fit perfectly around all the little cracks and crevices as you can see. And they go all the way back to the back. So we have bucket seats here and they go all the way to the back. So we have been so, so happy with those, um, these custom mats. I'm gonna come to the back because I am sweating and ready to be done. So here you can see this is Clark's uh, booster here. There's an extra seat here, of course, in case we need it. And then we have our toy box. So this is just a basket from Dollar Tree. It's nothing special, but I'm gonna show you what I did back there. Okay, so back here, I actually have the basket itself strapped in. Let's see if you can see that. So I put the seatbelt through the handle here and that keeps it from, it, it's not perfect, but look, it keeps it from going into the floor. So you could pull on it. Oh, sounds like something's ringing. <laughs> we have baby toys, we have books, we have puzzles, um, just little things that are gonna kind of stay contained and keep Daisy busy, keep Penelope busy. We have a little doodle mat. Like I said, all kinds of stuff. We have this little lap board that um, is soft on the bottom and flat on the top. But anyway, that has been such a lifesaver. I used to just have it sitting on the seat or sitting down here below. And then I, I feel like I grew a brain and finally started strapping it in and it has helped so much. So Clark is old enough to be able to sit in his seat right here and then grab a toy if Daisy needs one and pass it up or if Penelope wants something, he can grab it for them and just pass it up to him. So that has worked really well for us. Coming to Daisy's little, little spot. She's just recently turned around because like I said, she's turning two in just a few days, but um, we have another one of these protector uh, seat protectors here that protects the back of that uh, pa that passenger seat. But this one has pockets and I didn't realize it when I bought it, but I'm so glad it, it does because I keep extra diapers here. I have wipes and then she has her little, this is car baby. We call it car baby because she just always keeps it in the car. I don't know, she, <laughs> she has for a long time now. So anyway, we have car baby and diapers and wipes. And then there's a little blank spot down here that's for kicking. Look, you can already see there's already some dirt on it. So much better than being on the back of the seat. All right, now for the best part, it's really not all that much, but you can tell um, everything is kind of nice and organized. We have room for a stroller if we need to grab a stroller or if we need to pack something else. But this is basically what the back looks like all the time. We have the diaper bag here. We have a, a potty here, a baby potty. We have a, a basket that just kind of keeps some of our bags together. And then we have our picnic blanket and our umbrella. So. 
just um, for some details, this is a blanket that we've used for years and it always stays outside. I wash it every once in a while, but that's basically what it's for is if we decide we're somewhere and we want to throw down a picnic blanket or, you know, something like that. We have something in the car that can do that. That will get to last because it's um, the, the bulk of everything. Uh, of course, we have our umbrella here and then we have a diaper bag, which I've used for all three kids and I don't. I don't honestly I don't use it all that much anymore because we kind of keep diapers in the car but I do have it in case I need to bring it in somewhere and then we have our potty so no we're not potty training anybody right now but I've, I've had this in my car since Penelope was potty training and the reason is because she's still really tiny I mean yes she's gonna be five but when we are at the ballpark or somewhere that doesn't have a bathroom or the bathrooms are locked or something like that and she's got to go it really saves us a trip down the street to McDonald's and especially now with all the the, the, all the stuff with bathrooms being closed and restaurants being closed and all that it has really saved us we've used it several times she doesn't mind at all going in here I have a little roll of toilet paper which I mean you could use baby wipes or whatever but she's more comfortable with toilet paper so I keep that toilet paper there and we just dump it out wipe it out with a um, with a baby wipe whenever it's done especially TT and we wash it whenever we get home so it really it's just not a big deal Definitely will come in handy once we do start potting training, but we, we, we use it, um, really, we, we've used it over the last few, several years. So I definitely recommend doing that if you have a little girl especially, because they can't go anywhere. Let's dig into the good stuff. So this is kind of the part that changes with the seasons depending on where we're going, if we're going on vacation, or if we're it's summertime or winter or whatever. So I try to keep this box as updated as possible. So I already mentioned the toilet paper. I have a, I have a, I have a brand new roll in there because it's been a while since we used it. So I um, always have this because of the little potty. I always have a roll of paper towels, um, you know, just because of life. And then we always have this bag. Okay, so in this bag, I have three bags of goldfish. I always keep snacks that aren't gonna go bad in the heat because it does get really, really hot here. Um, so no like fruit snacks or anything with chocolate or anything like that. So goldfish crackers, even like peanut butter crackers, I've had a problem with them melting. So I just stick with goldfish. And I just do one bag for each kid because we're never gonna be anywhere so long that we need more than one bag. So I keep that in there. I have um, bug spray. I have a little baggie with some hand sanitizer wipes. I have, let's see, oh, um, diaper cream, anti-itch spray, just because you just never know, especially with mosquitoes here. Um, a little bit of Advil, grown-up Advil, and a little first aid kit. Now these little things are so great. There's alcohol wipe in here. There's several sizes of Band-Aids and some gauze, and I think they're like 99 cents. So these are really handy to always have instead of having a bunch of loose band-aids that's what i've learned anyway so yeah so this bag is stays pretty much like this all the time i know it's there and we know it's in there i um i did want to mention this because i didn't know this in the beginning i used to have children's tylenol in here and also benadryl because of you know bug bites and reactions and things like that but you're actually not supposed to have any liquid medication like that uh, stored over about 70 80 degrees or so and so I think it kind of breaks down the medicine so I stopped carrying that with me and I do have it I have Benadryl in my purse and um, children's Tylenol in my purse because that kind of comes in with me whenever I go places I don't leave it in the car so that might be a tip um, look into that if you're not sure but that's kind of what I have what I have found all right so digging in some more this bag is an old bag but it does the trick it's um, full of our stuff for summer so in this bag we have some old towels that really just doesn't matter what happens to them i have a baggie of swim diapers some walmart bags just for uh, wet clothes and dirty clothes and some wipes we have a swimsuit for uh, each of the kids we also have sunscreen and yeah, I think that's it. So we have we have each of the kids' swimsuits. We have swim diapers, towels, and sunscreen. So this is like a kind of like a swim bag, an improvised little swim bag. And I like for it all to be in one bag because if they do, if we're at the park or we're at a friend's house and they decide last minute they want to swim, I don't have to say no or you know I don't have to borrow clothes and all that. I can just run to the car and grab this um, this whole bag and it's so much easier than going through and grabbing towels and getting everything separate so 
course it's not, <laughs> it's not perfect, but it works for us. So we always keep this bag in the back of the car for the summer. All right, and last but certainly not least, and the reason why I know so many of y'all are watching is for our restaurant busy bag. I know I mentioned it over on Instagram and I've gotten so many questions. So if you come over from Instagram, I know this is what you're waiting on. So make sure you um, hopefully get all the tips from this. So this is our restaurant busy bag. This is something that I put together back whenever Clark was little. And we've had it in several different bags and all that through the years. Of course, I've changed stuff out so much. I actually just refilled it, so I thought I would share. So many things that would be convenient to use at a restaurant table. We have some hot dots, and then we have the little guy that comes with it. And I have a pre-K one and then also a grade one, so that would be fun for um, Penelope. We have, this, we have this. The kids love this. This is for um, to practice tying shoes, of course. I stuck one of those in there. But I also have lots of other uh, lacing, lacing cards. These little lacing cards are also fun. We have, I just cut some page protectors into small, into small, uh, smaller pieces to fit, and then also construction paper. These two are plain, but on this one I have a little digital clock, and then we have these little clocks that go with it so that we can practice, you know, doing the analog clock and then also the digital clock. I know, can you tell I used to be a teacher? It's kind of ridiculous, but <laughs> my kids are used to it and they have fun with it. So anyway, we have a couple of these. We like to sit at the table and do that before food comes. We have um, just a set of puzzle cards. Penelope loves these. These are the vet cards. It's a matching game. These, I think you can find stuff like this all the time at the Target dollar section. So I just pick them up when I see them. This looks like, oh, the Easter Bunny must have brought this. This is a Easter word search. This is a little puzzle that Penelope actually made in class one day. She painted it and then put the numbers on it. It's a worm, but she has a lot of fun with it. We have a few little books. These little Mickey Mouse books we love. Some more tracing. All right, so that's that. And then in the smaller parts, we have our Expo markers, which obviously we use for these games. And um, they can erase and do it as many times as as you want, I used to store napkins in here, but then I realized if we're at a restaurant, they already have napkins, so you don't have to do that. So there's always a napkin there to kind of um, wipe it down. And then we have a little car here. I think Daisy stuck that in there, but she loves to play with that. We have regular markers for our um, notepad, and then we have some hand sanitizer wipes, of course, for the kids, especially right now. That'll come in handy whenever we get to the restaurant. So that's it. It's not as, um, it's not hard. It's not fancy, but it definitely has been a lifesaver with toddlers at a restaurant because if you have ever tried to dine with your toddler or even your older kids sometimes, and it takes an unusual amount of time or, you know, even when it doesn't, depending on their mood, sometimes it just makes it such a fight. And so when our kids turn about 18 months old, we usually break this out for them and um, it's like a game changer. So anyway, don't go spend a bunch of money. Go around your house because I'm sure you have small little toys like this and a little toiletry bag and that's it. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's basically it and I am like, I'm going to need another shower because I'm dripping sweat, but it was worth it. I definitely wanted to share this with all of y'all and encourage you to organize that car because, oh my gosh, I know as a mama, it makes me feel so much better whenever I'm prepared and whenever I feel like I have everything that I need. I'm so much more likely to say yes to things that the kids want to do, kind of their spontaneous ideas and things like that. And I think that's important. Also, it keeps me sane. It helps them to be occupied during the car. You know, nobody likes riding in the car. And so it's hard whenever you're three and four and even eight years old to ride in a car, even for a little bit of uh, amount of time without anything to do. So I like for them to be able to have something they can grab. And you know, Randomly, I'll kind of change out toys in there whenever I think about it, and it kind of keeps it exciting for them. They never kind of know what's in the basket, especially if we're going on a trip that's longer than, you know, about 30 minutes or so. I try to make sure there's a couple of new things in there. But other than that, that's it. So that's kind of how I stay organized. I hope you loved this video. I hope that it inspired you to get a little more organized or to maybe add some things to your car. And again, if you have an idea or you have something that you are never gonna leave the house without, definitely let me know down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit the red button and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see y'all right back here next week with a brand new video. Thank you.